You will come to the page uh, ZaraSupergirl.com and there will be some instructions on how to interact with uh, Zara the Supergirl. Um, it is an uh, imperfective virtual robot. So you can click on the button chat now and then it will bring you to the page where you will see Zara. She will appear first as a, um, you know, um, business in business attire and she might turn into Supergirl depending on your interactions. So that's why it's called Can You Bring Out the Supergirl in Her? And uh, on the page you will see um, a bunch of panels. Um, here you can see that um, uh, there will be a sentiment analysis of whether your mood um, is positive or negative. Here you will see the uh, emotional analysis of your facial expressions and the emotional analysis uh, from your speech. Uh, after a five-minute interaction with Zara, she's going to determine your personality. And uh, here there are four quadrants and four dimensions of your personality traits. Um, you just have to answer her questions and then she will determine that from your interactions and your emotions and so on and so forth. So I'm going to start a new session. Please wait while I analyze your face. Hello there, I am Zara and I can feel and share your emotions. I would like to ask you a few questions to get to know you. Let's start. Can you tell me about your earliest childhood memory? Oh, um, I remember uh, seeing my grandfather died when I was very young. I am sorry to hear that. Supergirl will always be there to listen to you. Hello, beautiful. I am Zara the Supergirl. I will continue with the test. I am sorry for your loss. Can you tell me about your grandfather? Well, I was very young, so I don't remember much, but uh, he was kind. Oh, all right. Let's chat about something fun. How was your last vacation? Oh, uh, it was great. I went to Paris with my whole family. Paris seems like a great place. What did you do there? Did you have any great food? Yes, uh, how do you know? We had uh, excellent food and we went to museums and uh, uh, parks and then we visited family and friends. We had a great time. Sounds great. I would like to travel with you. Now let's talk about work. Can you now tell me about the biggest challenge you are facing at work? Oh, uh, the biggest challenge facing at work is um, I have many projects and uh, not enough time, it seems. Not enough time to finish everything. Will you set a timetable for projects and stick to it? Yes, I try to do that. Yes, we try our best to stick to the timetable. That sounds great. Now I would like to listen to a creative story. What's the first story that comes to mind when you imagine a woman, dog, and a tree? Um... So a woman is reading under the tree and uh, a dog came over and barked at her and, uh, and threw up her tree and uh, I mean, threw up her book and then attacked her and she got mad and she killed the dog. And then the tree was hit by lightning and fell down and killed her. So everybody died. Wow, you have an interesting mind. That was a little traumatic for me. Let's talk about something else. Can you tell me if you like having a lot of friends? Yes, I like having a lot of friends. Sounds great. Me too. What do you do with your friends? Oh, we go out for dinner and then we um, chat and uh, we travel together sometimes. We have parties. We have a lot of fun. You sound nice. I would like to be your friend. Hey, I know that you have to go back, but I really enjoyed talking to you. Can I ask you one more question? Sure, go ahead. 
Great. What do you think of a future where a robot like me would be someone you enjoy talking to? Um, I think if you can talk to people and help them, for example, lonely people, if you can talk to them in the future and help them, that would be great. It would be great if you can help people. That's so kind of you. You make me happy. Okay, it seems that our time is up. It has been a pleasure to know you a little bit. It seems that you are generous and warm-hearted. It also seems that you are enthusiastic and fun-loving. You make everything enjoyable. Hope to see you and talk to you again in the future. Goodbye. Bye. So here you see that... Um uh, my personality is a bit more extroverted than introverted, more intuitive than sensing, uh, more feeling than thinking, so on and so forth. Okay?